Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I have been really behind in doing vlogging and a little bit of blogging. And the reason for that, I wanted to explain that is because I've recently had a change career wise in what I want to do right now. So just to break it down for you, I'm a journalism major. And so I've been going to community college. I I'm still passionate about what I want to do and I know I'm going to pursue my career in journalism. I know I'm going to go into TV broadcasting. I know that's what I want to do. But my problem as a part-time college student, because I work part-time and I go to school part-time, I only have limited hours when I can study and when the uh, pandemic really hit. I was working uh, during the pandemic, but I was just trying to make ends meet and I work at a salon so we were closed during the closure but I was still working a lot doing a lot of detailed cleaning sanitizing everything so that when we did reopen that we would be good to go I helped with the setup of everything so anyways when the coronavirus hit I finished out spring semester and that was fine and it worked out great but going into fall we were getting a lot more bookings, new clients, and we were short staffed. So I had to help out with a lot of coverage. So that really took a toll on me. And with my blogging and this and that, just, it just seemed like the better choice. And then with the virtual learning, I just found that my testing and I try to take math class and it just didn't work out. So I find that I learn best in a present setting. Um, I took an anthropology class online and that's why I was able to finish out the last semester fine. And so it actually worked out great because anthropology is a really hard class. So it was nice to do kind of open book notes, but going into fall, I just realized that I couldn't keep up with it all working that much. And even though it's at home learning now, it's still a lot of time you're investing in, whether it be the live lectures, the notes, the readings, the studyings. My work was clashing with that, just the hours and everything. And I didn't mind because we were short staffed and I was trying to make extra money. My problem is as a college student is that you get hired and they promise you to work around your hours for school and it never happens. And it's just the same problem where I'm working a lot and then I don't have enough time to study. And then usually I end up quitting the job. I've never had to quit school before, but because of the whole pandemic, I thought that would be the best decision rather than failing it was just best to just you know take a break for now so because of that I decided when we start hiring more help that instead of getting trapped again in working so many hours I'm gonna do something that I've been passionate about for a while and I'm gonna go into cosmetology school so I'm not taking hair, skin, and nails. I am strictly and only invested in nails. I love doing nails. I love doing my own nails. Nails has been a thing that I've been passionate about forever. And I just decided that why not? You know, I can make my own hours, which is perfect because when it comes time to transferring and I end up moving, you know, whether it be to Los Angeles or somewhere else, I have something that's mine and my boyfriend told me when he transferred from our community college he said it was really hard to find a job that will work with his hours and be accommodating to his school schedule and that's been my struggle so it's like why would i want to do that to myself again and then keep getting stuck in the same situation so ultimately this is a long-term thing that'll benefit me in the future i still interested in you know completing my GED to transfer and everything and I'm still interested in pursuing that in my career in journalism but this is just an alternative route to get to where I want to be. One of the reasons that I created a blog, I love my blog, it's like my baby and my channel and everything, it's just my own my own thing. It's something that I enjoy and I love it and it's mine and it's my name and I own it and I have full ownership of my name and everything and I've always wanted to create my own brand so that's what I'm doing and as far as where I see my blog or my channel going I have no idea but I just love it even if I get like 
five people who watch this video, it makes me happy that I at least have five people who are interested in hearing what I have to say. I just wanted to give some background on why my posts on my blog and channel haven't been consistent, but I plan on being consistent. My hours are adjusted. I'm in school. I'm completing it and I'm just so excited. So because of the change in my job that will be coming very soon, um, I'm excited to keep doing this. So because I'll be a nail technician, I can adjust my hours, I can film whenever I want and it's just, it's mine. And that's all I've ever wanted was to have my own thing and set my own hours. It's what I wanna do and it's what I'm happy doing. So um, I just wanted to give you some background on why I haven't been consistent, but I do plan on being consistent. I plan on posting monthly content from now on, whether it be a shopping haul or a beauty haul or just a day with me. I want to just share my life and just share everything that I enjoy, what I like, what I'm passionate about. And I've always been an open book, which is kind of why I wanted to start my blog in the first place. horrible like it looks so awful it got powder all over my pants thank you so much for watching and i'll see you too oh. uh. i'm sorry it's been a long day so um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.